Hello! I am going to be making some drawings and collages of snowmen looking up as if they're looking to catch a snowflake. And I have this book, Snowballs, here. And I love how the illustrator, Lois Ellert, uses different things to collage. She uses pictures and real items like this popcorn and pieces of paper. So this is my inspiration because I'm gonna be doing a little bit of collage. Now, if you don't have paper, I'm also going to show you how you can just draw this. But I've pulled some pieces of ads from magazines. I've got some Cheerios and an illustration, and I've got some construction paper. So if you have any of those items, you'll be able to collage onto your snowman, meaning you're just gonna cut and glue different things. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this. So on one of these, I am gonna start off by drawing the nose first. And the reason I'm doing that is otherwise I'd have to erase. Now I'm drawing with Sharpie because I want you to see it really well, but you should be starting with pencil. So I'm gonna start with the nose. Now, if I didn't wanna do that, I could actually collage it. And I'm gonna show you that on the big one. So here I go, I'm gonna start with the nose. And what shape is my nose? It's a triangle, right? Because it's made out of a carrot. So I'm going to start off as a really nice tall mountain there. And instead of going straight across, I'm actually going to curve it a little bit because that carrot is curved. And then I can add those little lines that give the texture of the carrot. So they make it look like how the carrot feels, kind of bumpy with those little ridges in it. Okay, now I can do the head. And I'm going to start, almost looks like a unicorn horn, doesn't it? I'm gonna start a little bit up here and I'm gonna draw the big head coming here, but I want it so, so big. I wanna be able to have room for the arms. So I'm gonna start right about here and just go down and back up. And yours might be a little bit bigger, might be a little bit smaller. It is up to you. Okay, so now I need to have a big smile here, right? You could have the smile open. You could draw a line for the smile. You could draw little black circles that connect for the smile. So I'm gonna make I actually want two little rosy cheeks. Those will kind of look like eyes, but I'm gonna make two little circles and then a nice big smile. Okay, again, you can do yours in a different way. Now, you could put earmuffs on. So maybe I'm gonna put some earmuffs on. So I'm gonna do a little fluff here, a little fluffy here, and then I'm gonna connect this with a little line, just like that. Okay, now, you could put a scarf, you could put a tacky sweater, you could put a vest, a bow, you could do all different kinds of things on your snowman. I'm going to do a nice little scarf. So I'm gonna start here. My scarf's gonna be tied kind of like a bow. So I'm gonna do a letter U, and then I'm gonna wrap this. Actually, I'm gonna put the little pieces down first. I'm gonna have my little pieces from my scarf coming down. And look, that looks like an L, and then I go right back up. And then I'm just gonna make kind of a wavy line here for the side and come back down, wavy line. And that's my big warm scarf. Now, if your snowman is higher up, you'll have room to do maybe two sections of the body. I can only do this middle section. So I'm gonna start here and curve my line and go all the way to the bottom. Make sure you go all the way to the bottom. Very good. Now I wanna have the little branchy arms reaching up. And you can do the arms in lots of different ways. So I'm gonna have mine go up real high and I'm gonna add some little branches. But you know what, I'm gonna make this have a little bit of a thickness because I wanna be able to color that in brown. So I'm gonna have this one come up too, almost like a little snake tail. And then add some little branches on. And what could the snowman be reaching up for? I'm gonna put some nice snowflakes. Now I'm gonna do some fancy snowflakes and some regular ones. So on this one, since this paper's a little bit smaller, I'm actually gonna go through and just make the snowflakes like this. Look how I have some go off the edge too, right? Because if you took a picture, they wouldn't all be kind of scooched in the middle. You'd have some going off the edge. So I'm gonna add some going off the edge behind my snowman filling that up. Now that is ready to color unless I'd like to add some pattern to my scarf because guess what? I'm fancy pants and I do not want a plain scarf. So I'm gonna add some stripes. So if you're drawing this and that's the materials that you have, you can go ahead and start to color very carefully in each section. 
but I'm gonna show you here how I'm gonna do one with a little bit of collage if you do have some different papers you can use. So I'm gonna start off with the head and I'm gonna do a big circle because my paper is bigger here. Does it have to be a perfect circle? No. I'm just gonna do a nice oval because when you make a snowman and you pat it, it's gonna have little bumps and, and different um, little rough parts, so it's not gonna be perfect. So here's the beginning of my snowman. Now I wanna have a little scarf. This one's gonna be a little bit different. I'm just gonna go down and come right back up. And then for my body, it's just gonna go whoop down, whoop down. Okay, I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna cut my nose first. So I'm gonna get my Honey Nut Cheerios. And I like to draw what I'm gonna cut out. So I'm gonna draw my big rounded triangle. Is that gonna be too big? Oh, I think it's gonna be too big. I'm actually gonna make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna kind of lay it where I think it's gonna be. I think that's gonna be good. Better to cut it out and it be too big than too little, because I can always cut more of it away, but I can't make it bigger if I've already cut it. So I'm gonna cut very carefully. I'm turning my paper, always having those scissors moving away from me. And stop there and just finish this part up here. Look at this orange. Isn't that a great carrot orange? Oh my goodness, that looks awesome. So that's gonna get glued there and I can still add my little lines to it. Look at that. Now for this one, I'm gonna do like the little raisins or coal and you can see in my book here, they used corn. Um, so you could do something different too. Make yours unique. Okay, so on this one, I'm gonna have the hands again, except these are gonna bend a little bit. These little twigs are gonna bend. I'm gonna put a little twiggy little hands there and make this one thick. And you know what I could do too? You could put mittens on there. So let's say, I'm gonna finish drawing this one. Okay, let's say you have some paper like so, I'm actually gonna fold this in half and I'm gonna draw a letter M, except one of the humps is gonna be very little. Little hump for the M and then a big one for there. And look at this, make a little part in the bottom. Oh my goodness, why did I fold it in half? What's gonna happen when I cut this out and I keep it folded? What's gonna happen? I'm gonna end up with two, and then that way I don't have to cut each mitten out, and I just have to flip them over. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there, look. I could glue those on top. I like the mittens, what do you think? So it's fun to use the different papers, and when I look at this page, I love when there's already patterns available for me on, um, on different magazines, so I'm actually gonna fold this in half, and I'm gonna cut some circles out and look at this these could become little like polka dots in my picture I'm gonna cut a couple more and that's gonna make my scarf fancy pants because I like things to have pattern I love lots and lots and lots of patterns so okay so oh, look at those and this one I'm gonna cut this round shape in half and then one of these can kind of go along that edge and then maybe this one can go here, just like so. So that's, I'm gonna glue them like that and maybe I could even add my own little, maybe some little swirls in there to add to it. Okay, so I've added some swirls. Then I would go in and color. Now for this one, if you wanna do this, if you're doing your snowman like this, I'm gonna add some fancy snowflakes. So watch what I do. I'm just using letters of the alphabet. So I'm gonna start with an X and I'm gonna draw a line through it like an I. I'm gonna draw a few of these because I'm gonna show you how I add different lines and shapes and letters to make these very fancy. And this is why the snowman is reaching up to catch all these fancy snowflakes. I'm gonna have some going off the edge too. Okay, so using my letters of the alphabet, look, I make these into T's. Woohoo, it already got fancier. This one, I'm gonna add O's. Look at that. Then I'm gonna add V's, look, V, V, V. Look like mountains right there. By combining the different ones, I can make them look fancier. 
This one, I'm gonna add letter V's, whoop, but I'm gonna do two of them. V, 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 V. So really, these, oh, this one got really long. Maybe I'll make those look longer too to match it. Adding V's and O's and I's and T's, look, I can add those, is all you need to make these look fancy. I'm gonna add some upside down ones. And the more of those different lines you combine, the fancier they look. So this is really coming along now. I need to glue down my pieces. Look, his nose could be going in different directions. So he, like that. Now this one doesn't, it doesn't show the eyes. I did another one here where I have started it and I've done a big hat because this one you're gonna kind of see the face but I still want to cut out a little triangle nose. And the reason it'll be so good to cut this out is because it can go over this hat. So I'm gonna draw a little triangle shape, not too big. I do like to round that edge out. Oop. Oops, I did it too much. Okay, and look, now this can go up here and I can add little eyes. Like he's just looking up a little bit. And on this one, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little mouth is open. So you can see three different ways. Look at that. And then maybe this one, I'm gonna add a different pattern into the scarf. And maybe this will have some with a little bit of fringe on it. And this shows enough of the body that I could add some buttons or something else to my snowman. Oh, and then do you see up here how there's a kind of an empty spot on the top of my hat? Now I could leave my hat like that, but look what I found. I found an ad in a magazine of pasta and it reminded me of the fluffy balls on top of a hat. So I'm actually gonna go right to the center here and I'm gonna cut up kind of a wavy line right here look at this doesn't it look like a fluffy hat and it's pasta oh my nose got off there again Whoop. and look oh it's big it's too big <laughs> i'll have to cut that smaller or maybe this would work on a bigger picture but isn't that fun i like that also looks kind of like a sea anemone all right well good luck making your snowman looking up and just remember when you get to the part of when you are going to color i want you to take your time and color very carefully so on here i'm actually going to color around my little snowballs and then i can go quicker and i'm coloring everything in very nicely going all the way to the edge and i would color all of this here does the sky have to be blue? Oh no, it could be purple, it could be a sunset, it could be whatever color you want. And when you get to the patterns, if you're coloring patterns in your scarves, don't color the whole thing one color after you've spent so much time making such fun fancy pants designs. So go in and color very slowly and carefully to make your snowman's scarves and hats and everything very detailed. Good luck.